This is Eric from Pack Hacker, and today we're going to be checking out the Cotopaxi Tall Convertible Tote, which I've been testing for the past two weeks. Let's dive in. So kicking things off with the exterior here, as you can see in typical Cotopaxi fashion, we have very, very bright colors, a little bit of everything on here. We've got one, two, three, four, five, like six different colors on this thing. Uh, and then a big Cotopaxi logo, uh, which is, you know, not very minimalistic, but if you're looking for a minimalistic pack, this is really not for you. It's very, very vibrant, very, very colorful, very, very visible. Um, but this is actually repurposed nylon, so they take you know sc scraps and unused uh, nylon from other manufacturers, and they use it to create these bags. And this is actually from the Deldia collection, which means that uh, people who work to assemble these bags get to pick the colors and pick the designs, and you can actually have them surprise you. Like when you order this, you can just click the button. I think it says surprise me and they'll send you just a random bag with random colorways that someone designed at one of their manufacturing facilities, which is pretty neat, especially if you like surprises, or if you don't like surprises, there's a bunch of different colors you can choose from in different colorways and designs. But like I said, there's a ton of different colors on this thing. This fabric is pretty thin, and when it does like rub on itself, it feels a little like 90s wind panty. I'm not sure if you can really hear that. Not like as, uh, scrapey if that makes sense but you can still kind of feel it and you can if it's not very full like if you were going to like a market or something like that and you started empty you can feel it more but as you put more stuff in here you'll feel it less or hear it less sorry so this is stuffed full right now with just some packing cubes so you can kind of get a view of how much um, or what it looks like when it's fully packed it's 16 liters which is a pretty good size uh, and as you can see We've got this strap here, so it starts in messenger mode. So this strap is very, very thin, uh, no padding really to speak of, but because this is such a light pack, it doesn't bother me so much. I mean, if you were to put a whole lot of stuff in here, you're gonna start feeling that weight pretty quickly because there is no padding, there is no aeration. So if it was a hot day, you maybe get like a sweat mark where the uh, strap is. But when you don't have a ton of stuff in here, it's fine, like when I was just using it in like general day-to-day -day stuff and I didn't only had you know, like a shirt in there and like just some daily use items, it wasn't a big deal. But then last night I actually took all my soccer stuff in this to go play in my soccer league. So I had cleats in there and a bunch of other stuff and it was pretty heavy and on my bike ride there, this was kind of like digging into me. It wasn't super uncomfortable, but it, it wasn't the, uh, the most comfortable thing I've ever worn. But talking about the hardware, we have YKK zips um, all throughout this pack, and I believe they're all YKK number five. So we've got this main compartment here, this front pocket here, and then there's some zippers inside as well. And then we have uh, Wujin buckles. So these little adjusters are Wujin. Uh, they work very, very simply. And this is actually how it can go from messenger mode. So right now it's in messenger mode. I'll just throw it on so you can kind of see it. So right now it's kind of hanging pretty low. You obviously can't see it from this angle. But you can adjust that pretty easily by just shifting this this way and this way. I will say it was kind of hard to get them even sometimes because you, I guess it doesn't need to be even, but depending if you pull more from one side, it kind of can hang like diagonally or just like off a little bit. But if you pull these even further through, it can go into backpack mode. So as you can see now it is in backpack mode which I will say is a little awkward, but if you're wearing it as a messenger and your shoulder gets tired or whatever, you can switch, which is nice. It's nice to have that option. I'll throw it on real quick. So now I've got it on in backpack mode. I'll turn around how you can see what I mean. It's a little awkward. And it's hard to get like the straps straight, but it is nice to have that option should you choose that you want to go from messenger to backpack. And then to go back to backpack, you obviously just pull these straps back. There it is. So we'll move on to the inside now. I'm gonna start with this front compartment here. 
So just a pretty basic compartment. There isn't anything in there except for just, you know, space. And it's not a ton of space, but there is a, you know, a fair amount of depth to it. So you can fit some, you know, larger items in there compared to other front pockets I've tested. A lot of times it just shares part, its space with the main compartment. So you're kind of fighting, but there is a, a fair amount of uh, pull to that, um, the fabric on the exterior there. So you can fit a, a good amount of stuff in here. Obviously it's pretty tall, compare it to the palm of my hand. You've got a lot of space there. So I do enjoy this uh, front compartment. And as I close the zipper, you can see we have these just very basic zipper pulls, but they, I like the knot they have on the end so you can kind of get a good grasp on there. Uh, but overall, very happy with the zipper choice, the uh, other hardware choices, and the zipper pull here. But continuing on with the interior of the pack, when we open this, you can see I've got three packing cubes stowed in here right now. As I said, to just kind of show you what it looks like packed out. But as you see, I was able to fit quite a few packing cubes in there, I and mean, it wasn't completely full. I didn't have anything in that front compartment, and I didn't have anything in the compartments inside here. So we've got a pretty large uh, packing cube here, and then I'd say two mediums or smalls, depending how you look at it. So 16 liters does go quite a long way, but I'll get these out of the way now. And on the inside here, you can see we've got this. It's kind of hard because like the, the mouth isn't very big, so if you were trying to put a larger item in there, it just kind of, I say a little constrictive, like it's about the size, you know, the, of my palm with, you know, if you were to go all the way around. So it is kind of hard to get larger items in there, but for regular sized items, it's not a huge deal. But we have this divider here, which stays closer to the uh, back wall. So you can, you know, separate items depending on what you wanted to do with them. Like on my way home from soccer last night, I put like my used socks that I had just worn on one side and then stuff that wasn't like smelly or anything like that on the other. And then behind that, we have a little zippered pocket here again with that same zipper pull, YKK zipper. So you can have a little bit of separation even more so. So like if you had like something kind of important, you didn't want to lose like a passport travel document or something like that, and you didn't want to put it in the zippered front compartment here, you can open up the main compartment and have that zippered access there. It is important to note, I think, that whatever you put in there is on the back panel, and there's really no padding to speak of at all here. So if it has any rigidity to it or like it has things that poke out, it's gonna be resting on your back. So you are gonna feel that. But then in the, I'll call it the, the main part of the main compartment, we have a little water bottle pocket right here. So it's not great with huge water bottles. I was able to sneak my 32 ounce analgene in there, but a smaller bottle like this, I believe this is a six or 21 ounce uh, hydro flask will fit in there just fine. Another thing to note is it's kind of hard to get things in and out. Like you just saw, I kind of struggled to get that water bottle in there because there's no, like this material doesn't hold up at all. Like if I let go, it's staying right now, but even like it just kind of falls. So getting things inside of it, especially when it's empty, can be a little difficult. But once you start getting stuff in there and it kind of has a little bit of a shape, it's easier for things to work. But another thing to note is I had my soccer shoes on the bottom of this, on like just sitting on the bottom because I wanted to stack things on top of it. And then when I put my water bottle in, there wasn't enough room to like close the top because the water bottle pocket, it, do it doesn't go all the way to the bottom. Like you can see here that this is the bottom of the water bottle pocket. It's not attached to the bottom of this pack. So I had to like shift around my shoes to shove the water bottle in there. So the water bottle was at the bottom of the pack so I could still close the top zipper. So with six, I mean, 16 liters, it's a lot of space, but it's not, um, you know, a huge messenger style pack, pack. So if you have, you know, larger things in the bottom, you might have to shift them around a little bit to get the water bottle in. And as I said, you know, getting things in and out of this opening can be a little troublesome given its size. But overall, I'm really impressed with this pack. I don't love wearing it as a backpack. I kind of avoided doing that because I just, I just felt kind of silly. It, it's nice to have the option, especially if you have heavier stuff in there and you're spending all day out on the town and it gets heavy on your shoulder, you can kind of switch it up and put some more of that weight on your back and disperse it between your shoulders. But it is a little goofy. But other than that, very happy with how this performed. You know, it's very, very light and you can fold it down pretty small too. It's obviously not, you know, packable by definition, but this does not take up a ton of room in, you know, your day pack or even if you have a big sling you might be able to shove that in your sling. So if you need more room, you could pull this out. But you know, travel uses, you know, like I said, if you're going to the market or it's you know, a light bag. So you, if you head out in the morning, you don't know what you're doing 
and you just know that you might need room for some other stuff, just you know, throw this on uh, your shoulder and then you can fill it up as the day goes on and you don't really have to worry about it because it's not very heavy. Uh, not, I mean, not the most durable or like comfortable packs when it's heavy because this is a thin material, it's a very light bag. But this material held up very well for me. You know, I had some, you know, soccer cleats rubbing up against it and I really haven't noticed any issues, no loose threads or anything like that. Uh, so quality as we've come to expect from Cotopaxi. But so there you have it, the Cotopaxi tall convertible tote. Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel. We'll see you in the next one.